Hey guys, this is Eric, Perry Hill Farms, Danette, she's behind the camera. It's been a while since we've had Stuffy in the kitchen. Been a while. It ain't because I ain't been in the kitchen, I just hadn't filmed it. <laughs> um, anyway, if you notice right here, I'm canning up some rabbit. I had, um, I had 12 rabbits, about three to four pounds a piece, probably about six to eight weeks, probably about eight, close to eight weeks old. And uh, I take the, uh, I debone the hind legs and I debone the back straps out of the rabbits and the little bitty tenderloins. And uh, I had 12 rabbits that I deboned the hind legs and the back straps. And I wound up with 14 pints, pint jars. And uh, I'm raw packing. I'm raw packing it, which means that um, I can get it in there. I think I got as many in the bottom as I can get. So I had 14 uh, pints of rabbit. And near as I can tell, now I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be somewhat winging this. Um, a rabbit feed, I think, is eighteen dollars a bag. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen or eighteen? I think sixteen, maybe dollars a bag. Oh, and I had, I actually had fourteen to begin with, but I done twelve of them today. I butchered them. Uh, I processed them. Dispatched them. First of the week. Dispatches when you take your life process is when you cut them up oh sorry sorry i stand corrected but anyway um had 14 pints out of 12 rabbits two bags of feed that's 32 dollars um divided by 14 is roughly a little over two dollars a jar i can take that rabbit and uh i can make Add a lot of my other canned vegetables to it. Make a lot of meals. All you do is you don't pack the rabbit in there or chicken, whichever one you're doing. Yeah, mo most canned things you want to pack your stuff in there real tight, but not on your chicken or not rabbit. On chicken or rabbit. Show them real close, baby. I, uh, mm -hmm. It's beautiful white meat. And uh, like I said, I got. 14 jars and I got so I needed I actually needed two more jars in there to fill the canner up I think it holds 16 and uh, so anyway had some uh, pinto beans I put a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of chili powder in there with the pinto beans how many how much pinto did you put in there oh yeah you put a half a cup to a pint and they're dried pinto beans. And they're dried. They're not being cooked. They're not being soaked or anything. So you put, you can see them down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And pretty much when that gets cooked, it'll be full of beans. This will be and our first time trying that. It'll be our first time trying it, but I have great confidence in it. I, I watched uh, Miss Rachel last night on our 18... Yes. 1860 or... It's 1870s Homestead, I 1870s think. 1870s Homestead. That's where we got our candied jalapenos recipe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, I'm always, seem like always, out of chili beans to go in my chili. And I have to stop and go to town and buy chili beans. Because I got some good hamburger. Well, this is deer burger right here. We're going to have grilled deer burgers tonight. Got to hold it up. And... Uh, you can see right there. That's uh, some of our processed from there. I ordered these bags and uh, yeah. put my hamburger meat, threw my stuffer in there. But anyway, when I'm making chili, I never have any chili beans. So I told Danette tonight, I said, we'll do a couple and see how they go. But anyway, just because it's fall, I don't I don't have really have anything going in the um, garden right now that I can eat or process. I do have lots of things growing. And uh, they saw that on our previous video. Yes, you should have seen that on the previous video and all, but we're gonna get the canner 
this good old all American canner. We're gonna get the lid on him. And uh, any meat that you do is 90 minutes. Doesn't matter if it's cooked or not. Mm -hmm. You gotta do it on, well, our elevation is 10 pounds of pressure. We're gonna do it for 90 minutes. And uh, like I said, you know, winter time, I, I really begin to bring my focus around to meats. Oh, and I left out the part that I have a roaster right over there and I put, you can see it, I'll point to it right here. It's got all the front legs and pieces of back and all that and I'll roast them down and I'll probably just use the meat in something this weekend. There won't be a ton of it, but there'll be some off the front legs. And uh, But what we will have a ton of Yep, what we will have a bunch of would be uh, probably be about seven more quarts of broth. And uh, coming up on Thanksgiving and Christmas, we'll be cooking a lot of dressing, rice, casseroles, all that stuff. And every, seems like every one of them calls for broth, chicken or rabbit. They're, they enter, you can interchange them, you know. And to us, one's just as good as the other. And, uh, we enjoy it, but anyway, I'm gonna get the counter going, and uh, hopefully we'll get back with you and get the finished product done, and I'll let you see them when we take them out the counter. Oh, just wanted to come back and show you the finished product. You can see if my wife had zoomed down there, I don't know if she can hold that apparatus she's got the camera on or not, and uh, I can't pick them up barehanded. Those are. Uh, but you can see they're still bubbling. They had 14 pints of rabbit. I got two pints of these pinto beans that's got the um, chili powder in them. May, I'll try to make some chili powder that next week. And, and uh, Chili powder? I mean chili with the chili beans and chili powder that's in the bean. I'll try to make some chili next week and show y'all how I make my deer meat chili. I don't give the recipe out often, but I can give it out. Just so you know, I have one second place at our church in a chili cook-off, of which there was 66 pots in the cook-off. So. These didn't fill up as much as I thought they would. They didn't swell. Not quite as much, but they may not be through either. But anyway, guys, I just want to encourage you. You know, we're heading into fall here in South Alabama. And uh, generally this time of year, I usually do focus on putting up or trying to put up meat during the winter when I don't have as many vegetables. I do can some greens and all during the winter. But... Uh, I do try to focus on putting up some, I had two litters of rabbits that we processed and, and all. Um, got some pigs on the ground. Probably be doing them in the spring. Um, probably be doing another cow in the spring. And I'm sure we'll be doing several more deer. But I want to can some deer this year. I've never canned deer. Heard a lot of people talk about it. All I can. I want to can some deer this year. I'll try and get a video on that for you. Um, you do it just like this rabbit. You cut it up in pieces about half as big as your thumb. Raw packet. Put a little salt in there with it. 10 pounds of pressure. For an hour and a half. 90 minutes. But uh, I just want to let y'all know. You know, just keep putting up food. Because I really believe we're going to need it for long. And, uh. Food still going up, along with everything else. So I just encourage you to get out here and raise some of your own stuff. Put it in some jars and stick it back. It'll come in handy days to come. God bless you. Thank y'all for watching. I always say a simple life is a much more enjoyable life, and uh, I really believe that. If you keep things simple, they're much more enjoyable, you know. This world's in way too big a hurry to go nowhere. Love y'all. Thank you for watching. God bless you.